Following the best cryopreservation protocols will result in high cell viability. But common errors we make in the lab can put our samples at risk. What practices should you follow to ensure your valuable samples are there when you need them? Simple errors like overfilling cryogenic tubes or using the wrong cooling rate can jeopardize the integrity of the cryotubes. The cooling rate has other effects as well. Cool too fast and intracellular ice can form. However, cool too slowly and cells may dehydrate and suffer more osmotic imbalance. The effects of wrong cooling rates are especially devastating in embryonic stem cells and other fragile cell types. Safety is another critical aspect when working with liquid nitrogen. If tubes aren't correctly sealed, introducing them to the liquid phase of liquid nitrogen can lead to explosions or biohazard leaks, devastating for a lab. Many choose to keep samples in the vapor phase of liquid nitrogen instead, but if you do wish to immerse your cells in the liquid phase, consider selecting cryotubes specially designed for this use. Finally, the features of the cryotubes go far beyond ensuring safely freezing and restoring cells. For example, the low binding properties for storage of DNA and RNA, certification for air freight shipping, the one-hand operation design for working in a biohazard environment, and the sterility assurance level of 10 to the negative 6 for preserving highly valuable biological samples.